spoof or T score of 12. You think you have time for that? I think so. Time me. Okay. Hey, how are you today? Fine. Just want to go home and rest. This won't take long. I just reviewed the results of your one program screening. Has anyone ever told you that you're at higher risk for opioid related problems? What? No, I've used this medication for back surgery before. What does that even mean? Okay, your answers resulted in a score of 12. Now that's nothing bad, it just means that you're at a slightly higher risk of developing misuse of this medication or what we call opioid use disorder. And that doesn't mean this is a bad medication for you, it just means that there are some things you should watch out for. Like if you feel a buzz from this medicine, find yourself starting to crave it or wanting to take more than prescribed. That's what we're, what we're, we're concerned about with this. Oh, so you're telling me I have a high chance of becoming hooked on this. Higher than average, yes. We recommend that people with your level of risk keep in close contact with their doctor or pharmacist so that you can let us know about any signs that you might notice about yourself of misuse, like the things I was talking about just a second ago. And we know that opioid use disorder is preventable, so that's really the goal here. It's not any punishment or judgment, but just to be informed about what's happening as you take this medicine, since your risk is high. We also recommend that people with your level of risk keep naloxone on hand just in case. What is naloxone? It's an overdose antidote nasal spray. So the oxycodone that you're prescribed can be dangerous, but this naloxone reverses it and can save a life if someone's in an overdose situation. And that would be um, recognized by that they're breathing really slow or they're not breathing at all, they have bluish skin color, they're not responding, and that would be the time to call an emergency uh, medical service, but the naloxone could keep them alive until an emergency medical help can arrive. It might even help a loved one or someone you know if they took an opioid, like your oxycodone or some other opioid, and had these really negative, dangerous effects that can save their life too. I went ahead and filled naloxone for you because we would recommend you have it on hand. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, good. I put some information in here about opioids and about naloxone, so you can read up on that. Um, keep this at room temperature and throw it out if, you, if it gets used or if it reaches its expiration date. I also put a packet in the bag so that you can safely dispose of oxycodone if you don't use it all so you can get rid of it without any risk of it falling into the wrong hands. What questions do you have for me? Well, I'm kind of frustrated. You know, I'm not some sort of junkie. And what happens later if I can't get my oxycodone prescription? I'm not gonna be very happy. Oh no, that's not the idea here. No one is saying you're a junkie. We just want people to know the level of risk that they have and to be proactive about identifying things that might be going in the wrong direction and talk with us about it. We're here to help and that's the whole goal of this conversation. We know that one out of every four people who use these medicines over the long term develop opioid use disorder, and I don't want you to be that one person, so that's why I'm bringing this up. Okay, yeah, I guess that's nice to know. Thanks.